Feedback. Feedback. Hi, this is Theo Broughton. And I am the BDM Pina. Inviting you to join us each Monday at 9 a.m. for Feedback. A positive image production by Hood Research. Encourage others to tune in each Monday on Comcast Detroit, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Watch WHBR TV Network anywhere. And take us along with you. Feedback. 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 And to Don, who you want to say good morning to? Well, I'm just everybody out there, we, you know, the HBCU crew, oh, uh, yeah. Chef Jeff, Tony, Frank Surreal, Eric Scott, the barber, all those great guys out there doing great things in the community, and that's what, they, what it's all about out here. Brother Reginald Williams in Maryland, who watches mm -hmm. when I send him the show, and uh, I got a book here for Brother Calvin Mann today. So, man, all these men out here doing great work. Jabari Jermaine, I talked with him yesterday in that Los Angeles. I'm telling you, Miss Broden, feedback. They love the show. All right. I'm glad to hear that. And our guest this morning, Mr. Mark? Kelvin Mann is here, folks. And for those of you who don't know, you're going to learn about this gentleman. Good fathers only and encourage me. I'm young. I mean, the city is learning about him. They've done pieces on him on all their TV stations, lots of radio stations. I've been working with the guy for a long time. I've known the guy when he started out in the early days and, um, Man, he's been grinding out there because he want to see us be better people, have better families. So right. um, it's going to be a great show. Wonderful. Uh, Calvin Mann, thank you for joining us. Tell our viewers who is Calvin Mann. Well, uh, thank you for having me. Um, I am the product of uh, Reverend Columbus and Ali Bell Mann. I'm also the product of uh, Reverend... Uh, Alexander Miller. I'm the product of Reverend Rumsey Mann, so uh, my legacy runs deep within uh, this city and this state. Uh, and um, I'm just someone who woke up in purpose. Uh, Mark Mark is 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 saying is telling you the truth. I was uh, didn't have no idea who I was, and. Um, I discovered uh, in some of these break rooms uh, where we used to work at Northwest Airlines and um, also in the streets, and I discovered who I was supposed to be uh, after a very successful high school basketball. All right. Happy Monday to everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to Feedback, a positive image production by Hood Research. My name is Theo Brown and my co-host. Yes, Mark Cummings. Folks, it's going to be a great show. All right. As always, and uh, I just want to say uh, good morning to uh, Vera and, and to Gladys and Clementine, uh, to Katrina and to Carl and to Ron and uh, to Claire and David. And thank you all for tuning in. And all of you know that you can call in and uh, speak with our guests as well. 868-4336-8680351. The guest that we have with us this morning is Aaron Truitt. And he is from Debo. People said, Debo, I've heard that. What is Debo? Detroit Association of Black Organizations. They have numerous projects going on at Debo. And I want Aaron to talk about some of the good things that are going on there. But first of all, tell us, who is Aaron Truitt? <laughs> Thank you. I'm you glad to be here. My name is Aaron Truitt. I, I'm a community health worker with uh, the Debo Sheffield Center. Mm -hmm. As a community health worker, what I do is bridge the community to health care um, programs, uh, resources, mm -hmm. and uh, services. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's my job. Uh, I'm doing my job right now by <laughs> by uh, letting people know right. that at at Debo at the Sheffield Center right now we have as a community first of all as a community health worker I've been working um, with the vaccination program and I'm glad to be doing this program because the vaccination program when I first start going out in the public asking people about vaccination it was during a time when it was a lot of division and you know going on and people. People were ready to get violent about mm -hmm. that. Oh, that's you know? about the COVID nineteen. Yeah, so about uh, about it, trying to encourage people to get 
boost mm-hmm. vaccinated. You know, uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I had some. I had a few encounters. I had to walk away because people just be so set on what they believe ah. that they're they ready to uh, go with you. Wow. So, uh, but this program, I'm happy to be doing because it's no persuasion. It's no. It's no saying, you know, this is good for you, that's bad for you, because the name of the program is Blueprint for Wellness. Okay. Mm. Blueprint, Blueprint for, for Wellness. wellness. And what it is. Surprise that to me there. Yeah. yeah what it is, it's, it's um, Quest Diagnostic Laboratory. It, they're, they're conducting um, a health screening mm-hmm. that gives you a clear picture of your overall health. Mm-hmm. through the health screening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, so this program is easy for me because if if health is your thing and that's what you're trying to get a hold of, this is a excellent starting place. Okay. We, so that's enough for now. You want to hear more? Of course <laughs> we want to hear more. <laughs> okay, so what happens, you, 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 get, you get the health screening, and then they, they Quest Diagnostic put together... Uh, a guide to say, my guide to health. Okay. You know, so it's a personal book, and oh. it it explains all forty nine tests that we're taking. Mm-hmm. Oh. It tells you if you land in the red or if you land in the green. Okay. And then if you in the red, it tells you what that means and what you can do about it. Oh, okay. okay. So now an individual might say, well, you know. I haven't had um, a visit to my doctor in a long time, and we often hear that that gentlemen are, are, are not uh, quick to go to the doctor and find out. But this sounds like a non-threatening uh, way of getting a person to begin to be concerned about their own personal health. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. now that, that they have decided, well, I guess I better do something, do they... Well, <clears throat> walk in do they call do they write do they email what what do you, how do you get started on uh curiosity about the program well you can call Debo at 491-0003 to <clears throat> to uh get into the blueprint for wellness program okay. they'll screen you there mm-hmm. quest diagnostics will do the do the, the measurements and the tests um, of of the of the samples. Okay, so now wait now the telephone number for someone who is concerned about getting on the road to wellness here is area code three one three four nine one zero 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 three. Again three one three four nine one triple zero three, and and that's to ask for an appointment. Is is that what you're asking uh, for? Just asked about the blueprint for wellness we have blueprint for wellness okay monday through thursday okay from nine o'clock until one o'clock it's walk in right now you could just walk in mm. um now that's over at the Dabo center of wyoming and uh yes it's located right on grand river the corner of grand river in wyoming one two one two zero four eight grand river the corner of wyoming okay and it's a walk-in uh, opportunity at this time. Yes. Okay. Now, when when you walk into the Debo Center on Grand River, Wyoming, what happens first? Well, everybody, since we do services in the community, everybody must sign in for the service. For they sign in, and then they'll they'll um, they'll fill out a a consent form, and then. Um, they, we got community health worker Wanda Baker, who also uh, works with me. Okay. She, but she she also do the blood, and so she she'll take a, a blood sample, mm-hmm. and then and um and Quest Diagnostic take it from from there after they that the, sample is collected. Testing, right. Okay. Now we do our excuse me, uh, just we do our end, and then Quest Laboratory. They they the ones who compare who com, uh, complete all the tests. Now this book can I go back to this book just for a minute? Sure. Okay. Yeah, this booklet it have forty nine tests for for the male. I think it's a few more for the female. Okay. But and then this is the last thing I want to 
commend on this book. It's great. Then at the end of the book, it gives you a summary. Mm -hmm. uh, all of this, what is talked about in here, it gives you a summary of everything that was red and everything that was green. So I can look right back on this summary and see in this that I had surprising to me, too, that I had five reds. Mm -hmm. You know, I was surprised because I go to my doctor regularly, mm -hmm. you know, and I know I already know a few of these things I already knew about, okay. but I didn't know about uh, uh, the cholesterol. I didn't know I had high cholesterol. Okay. And... Uh, well, let me jump in here, Brother Truett, because okay, okay. <laughs> it's a lot going on. Yeah, absolutely. Now, now, let me just say for most of the people out there, if you go to your doctor and you get a blood test, more than likely Quest Diagnostics is going to handle it. More than likely, because I know my doctor deals with Quest. A lot of the doctors deal with Quest. They've been around a long time. They do good work. Mm -hmm. Now, the main thing Brother Truett is saying is, it's, I'm looking at the guide now, the blueprint for the wellness guy. The test deal with your heart health. That's what you were talking about with the cholesterol piece. Right, you got right. the triglycerides. You got the HDL cholesterol. You got the LDL cholesterol. Then you got to, you're going to do a test dealing with your pancreas health. Folks, right. you want to know about your glucose, your hemoglobin. Right. Then you want to deal with your kidney health, folks. They're yeah, covering absolutely. all the bases, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? Creatine in your system. Then you want to do testing on your liver health. They got alkaline, phosphates, uh, albumin, global blooming ratio, all of this <laughs> stuff. I mean, you Absolutely. might not know anything about it, but it's about your health. Yeah. Thyroid I, health. I mean, they're covering all the bases with these tests. And that's the mm -hmm. thing. When you mm -hmm. go to your doctor and they, 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 give, you a, they give you a blood test, they're they looking for something. They, it's a certain thing. But this is an overall screen of of. Oh, uh, it's a clear picture of your overall health. It mm -hmm. really is. Sounds like they're checking all of your internal organs. Now, uh, somewhere in there, it seems to me that every time you go uh, to your doctor or center, wherever it is, the first thing they want to do is take your blood pressure. Right. And they they do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. But see, uh, Ms. Broden, this, this, mm -hmm. is the, this is the good thing about this booklet, too, because now I'm armed. I can take this to my doctor. Mm-hmm. And tell him. <laughs> these are the results. Yeah, these are the results. Yeah. What have you been it, doing? <laughs> what is this? What is this? I, I know what all mine is, but if there's something that I didn't understand, of course, mm -hmm. the doctor would be able to, to break it down. A lot of times we get our results back from our checkups and stuff. We just say, okay, it's negative, but we don't understand the numbers. Mm -hmm. But it, I'm learning in healthcare, you got to know your the numbers. numbers. You got to and know it's your imperative numbers. Imperative that they explain to you what the numbers mean. Right, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely. Well, you got to do something to change them numbers. Right. <laughs> you don't know how to do that. Right, absolutely. Because I'm gonna be honest with you. The biggest thing for this time of year is getting that vitamin D in your system. You don't have enough sunlight, mm -hmm. so if you don't get that vitamin D in your system, you're gonna be dehydrated on the inside. It lead to inflammation, all kind of problems. Because I know my doctor prescribed for me a lot of vitamin D tablets. He said, "Look, take these every day." Mm -hmm. So you can keep your vitamin D levels high. So, folks, this is a screening. I don't care who you are. You need this screening. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and, and it's, it's, it's Debo covering it, so it's free to the public. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that's the thing about this pro, these programs. The program the community health care workers bring, they, they really design for the underinsured mm -hmm. And the uninsured. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So everybody is eligible. Okay. okay. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, good. that's good to know. No, now, um, there was another question I had in, in there. Oh, um, another issue for uh, members of the community besides the high, and high blood pressure and uh, diabetes. What about uh, weight uh, loss? Do they deal with that at all? Well, it is a test called weight index. I really didn't read what that particular test mm -hmm. is. Yeah, they got it on here, okay, oh, called go ahead. physical measures. Uh -huh. So what they're going to do is they're going to measure your body mass index. Okay. So that's the fat on your body. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> look out, uh, world. They said the average range <laughs> should be between 18.5 
and 24.9. Okay. And, you know, a lot of times people up in them 30 ranges, and, and that's the problem. Mm -hmm. You get up too high, then you know you, you, you ain't in good shape. Yeah. Waist yeah. circumference. Mm -mm. They measure your waist. Uh -oh. They want to see if you, you know, you in line with your height, your age, you know, where you should be. Right. Mm -hmm. So they, they covering all of that. Did you talk about, Miss Brown, as far as your health? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking at this, and this is just incredible. This, I mean, for <laughs> this to be free, yeah, <laughs> it, it, folks, you better it, get over there. It yeah, is. It's, it's been that. valued at it's been valued at eight eight hundred dollars yeah, yeah, for these is, tests. This is a lot. Wow. For these tests, mm -hmm. and the other program, if it's okay, um, the other program, uh, we are home of the fifty dollar vaccination program. Okay. We've been we've been doing boosters paying $50 to everyone who come and get a booster shot mm -hmm. uh, at the Debo Center uh, since April. We've been paying $50 for everybody who come get a shot since April. And that program is is uh, going to be about another couple months, and okay. it's going to be phased out. Mm -hmm. Okay, now those are the booster shots. So that means you already got the other two. Well, the program is for any covid vaccination it could be your first shot uh -oh. or your last shot okay. but if it's your first shot you can come back and get fifty dollars i guess in two months oh, okay because they shorten the time on it right <laughs> also isn't there um a fifty dollar incentive for the blood pressure yeah, we, program the blood the blood pressure program the grant ran out but we served we served about 500 people in that program and it was it was quite alarming to see how many people didn't know their blood pressure was out of whack. Mm. Oh wow. As I stated before though, we we do do a lot of underinsured and 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 and, and no insurance mm -hmm. even. So mm -hmm. right. Yeah, so that's you know it's still going up. And Daybo is uh it's like an institution in the community. Mm -hmm. Been around a long time. Absolutely. Brother Horace Sheffield over there, Pastor Horace Sheffield, been doing the good things in the community for a long time, right over there on Wyoming, like you said, the Grand River. And a matter of fact, I took the course years ago uh, to be a business leader. Detroit Association, been the organization, got my certificate. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I took a class over there in the 90s. Right. You know, I, the 90s. Yeah, it was the late 90s. And I'm, I I'm proud to be, be a part of the Sheffield organization and the Sheffield family, you know, the family got so many, so many deep ties in this city. Mm -hmm. So many, so, so many decisions were made right. through this family and still being made mm -hmm. through this family yeah. for the, for Detroit citizens. Of course, senior, them guys was, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah. man, all them guys, Cockrell and Coleman and mm -hmm. Sheffield and, <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah, right. they, had, they had classes at that time at the TULC. See. Uh, uh, on Grand River once again, uh, near, near uh, Steve's Soul Food. And that, but, that fascinated me, too. Once we had something at, at Daybo, and, and we was talking about the TULC, because, you know, I've been seeing that building, but I never knew the, the history of it. Oh. But uh, it was a guy stood up, and he said, yeah, I went to uh, TLC. T U L C back in 1969. I learned how to weld, and I raised my family from learning that, learning that trade. <laughs> and that's what that's what Senior mm -hmm. Sheffield II was about. Mm -hmm. He brought those trades, and we still need trades right now. Yeah. He yeah. brought those trades back in the tried to get make excess uh -huh. back then. So that was exciting to me. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up because um, recently there was a conversation on a TV program. And um, it had to do with electric cars. And uh, one of the, the persons on the program was saying that we don't have enough electricians. Uh, even though you, you hear the um, auto industry talking about buy, buyouts for employees, et cetera, and uh, one reason is because it, it, le it takes less physical uh, input to build an electric car. In the right. meantime, right. they need electricians because of the electric car. You need the, the uh, charging stations. You need the other components. But interestingly enough, starting back in 1998, when that governor 
decided that uh, it, this is a good time to destroy public schools, took many of the trades out of the schools. You had wood shop, electrical shop. You had the welding, as, as you have mentioned, and um, the other trade classes. So it made it difficult for our young people who were not interested, eligible, um, uh, to go to college for some of the other careers, mm -hmm. you see. So now, uh, by the way, there's a school board meeting tomorrow at Western uh, High School, which is at 1500 Scott Street. And uh, need to be there if you want to speak to the school board and to the superintendent who has all of the school board meetings I have attended. The superintendent was present. But we need to be encouraging them to reestablish those trade classes. Yeah, it's going to be a right. battle. We're going right. to get there. Because uh -huh. we don't have enough. When they started to build Little Caesars, they was having big, huge, humongous workshops for people. But it wasn't a lot of people showing up to those things mm -hmm. for people that, that they well, was going well, they the was going to train. They was going to train them for a short while and throw them on the job at, mm -hmm. at, as a trade. And and people people it was people there, but it, it should have seemed like to me it should have been. <laughs> well, <laughs> also they they should have had more publicity about it rather than pulling people from outside the city of Detroit. Well, we all I didn't know even hear about that. It's but, a battle, but uh, you know, I just want to say one more thing about the ahead. health piece, though. Yeah, I noticed on here, gentlemen. They got the prostate exam part in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the PSA for all males 40 and older, prostate, prostate specific antigen. So they can take that from your blood and they can right. find out right. what you're looking like with your prostate pieces. So, uh, gentlemen, if nothing else, do the test for that. Mm -hmm. That's important. That's great news for a lot, of, a lot of men that they can do it through blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying you got to get that done because you over 40, you didn't dealt with it a lot. And especially if you're here in Detroit, the stress alone get to you mm. and uh, get through some things. But, yeah, as you guys were saying with the whole piece, I mean, last time we were at one of those meetings, Ms. Broughton, Vidi was saying, you know, what, they got 64% graduation rate. Mm. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. A lot of people just not even finishing school. Mm -hmm. And that's the big thing. And we know for the black men, it's a struggle. Because right. you got so many of them that didn't have felonies. They say like 40% of men between 18 and 35 oh, got a God. felony. That's what black men. That? That's a lot of people. Yeah. And well, we got to we gotta understand that. I'll do something about that. Yeah, they, yeah. Uh, on that on that note, uh, I was listening to the um, police chief, and he was talking about instituting some mental illness classes for people for these young folks to get caught up in mm -hmm. and uh along with some job training mm -hmm. you know but but first that mental illness i i had never really heard that angle but i really i really do like that mm -hmm. because these kids are caught up on their own reality and sometimes you know just to give them some real reality of what 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 the truth is mm -hmm. can can open a light open their eyes and some of them eyes and they they can go on. Mm -hmm. well, we mm -hmm. right up to this break, Miss Bro. Uh -oh. Looking at me like get, in, look get, <laughs> get, get this break, but uh, <laughs> brother True, right. we gonna be talking with Keith Owens' wife Pamela Hillier Owens on the other side at nine thirty. You think you can stick around for that, or you gotta move? Uh, I. I can, stay with yeah, us. I can stay. I can stay okay. with you. Give us right. thirty more minutes. We'll right. talk with Pamela here. You old. We're gonna get in right. touch with her sister, doing great things with her husband. That's what we all about. Family is the key. And call someone. Tell them to tune in to Feedback, our positive image production by Hood Research Program. And we'll be back momentarily. It's time to do something more. Join the Detroit Police Department, either straight out of high school or make a bold career change. Officers start at $40,000, plus health insurance, paid vacation, retirement plans, and more. Apply online at joindetroitblue.org. It's the V's Nuts Show with your host, Butter, and friends. Butter here, magician escape artist, practicing for my show tonight. Come on in, have a seat. Everybody settle, butter, you're on in five, four, three, two. 
few seconds. You gotta be in love to get out of this one. Twist a little turn. Ta-da! It's showtime. It's your old friend Butter here. I may be a nut, but I know to wear my mask. Please welcome my first guest tonight, fitness guru, Wally Wama. I wouldn't warm it here to tell you to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds so you will stay healthy and strong like me. Almond Cruz here, sliding in with the news. Distance is what we must do to stay away from the la, 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 chin and other germs in the air that might be trying to get on you. Social distancing is a wonderful way to see friends. As long as you're six feet apart, you win. Hey there, friends. I wouldn't miss this for the world. It's me, Pumpkin Spice, your healthy girl. Remember, it's important to use your kind hearts and follow the signs to stay healthy and safe at all times. Chica Chimitsky here to say, don't forget the little ones that need you to lead the way. That's how we remember to wash our hands, mask, and social distance today. Morgan Raisin. Yes, it's me. Here to sing about health and safety. We are all here to help get a message out to your grapevine, teaching healthy choices to stay safe all the time. Don't let these guys drive you nuts. Put your mask on first, they'll let you be. And it keeps me safe from the la, la, chew that's trying to get on me. Butter me up, she's right, you know. Thank you, Hallie Cranberry, for joining the show. Let's all be nuts about our health. Social distancing, wash your hands frequently, use hand sanitizer, and wear a mask. Practice what we learn to stay away from the ha uh, ha uh, ha uh, chew germ. We're all in this together. Coming soon, the many adventures of these nuts in a theater near you. This is Bruce Simpson, your city of Detroit ombudsman. I am here to address all of your complaints and concerns. If you need assistance regarding city services, please contact my office at 313-224-6000 or contact us via email at ombudsman at detroitmi.gov. This is Bruce Simpson, your city of Detroit ombudsman. Hi, this is Theo Grota. And I am the BDM Pina. Inviting you to join us each Monday at 9 a.m. for feedback. A positive image production by Hood Research. Encourage others to tune in each Monday on Comcast Detroit, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, watch WHPR TV Network anywhere. And take us along with you. Feedback, feedback, feedback. <laughs> and take us along with you. You know, uh, you can get us on, um, uh, what, what is it called, Roku, Roku, Roku uh, Fire Apple Stick, uh, Fire Stick uh, yep. mm -hmm. Apple TV. Right, and then uh, you download um, WHPR TV 33. Uh, okay, Tim, help us. <laughs> and you can yeah, that's how you do it. There. Yeah. TV 33 On Demand is YouTube as well. TV 33 On Demand, YouTube. We also have a Facebook page. Uh, TV 33 has uh, a Facebook page. Hood Research has a Facebook page as well. Yes. We we have a um, uh, another guest uh, co coming yeah, she gonna in. She's going to be calling in a couple of minutes. Yes. Okay. And, uh, she'll okay. be interesting. And I think the biggest thing is, is Women's Health Month, everybody. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be focused on a lot of ladies in the community that's doing great things, and this sister's doing some good things, and her and her husband. And I know most people know Keith Owens, journalist, doing mm -hmm. a lot of good things. He got Detroit uh, science fiction piece quarterly and, mm -hmm. um, you know, the sci-fi piece. His wife works with him on the business end. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's Team Owens, 313. I love it. And... Uh, I said, we got to have you on, you know, to talk about your part in what's going on with the family piece. That's right. And I mean, you know, it's, it, women, men, we all in this together, mm -hmm. Brother True. And, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. you know, you the health piece, I mean, family should come out for your health screening. You know, come out together, make it a family day. 
Brother Truett said they're going to take care of everything for you. And that's what's important, the community looking out for one another. So uh, right. I'm just blessed to have this platform. Ms. Theo, uh, I'm telling you, Hood Research doing great work out there, folks. Join Hood Research. I can't say it enough. $20 membership per year. Lifetime membership, $300. You're going to be a part of something great because we connect with so many organizations out there. And then we give them a platform. We do uh, the phone calls on Saturday, Miss Broden. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're just doing so yeah. many things in the community. <laughs> and we're getting back to having some events coming up soon. Yes. So, and there are um, multiple opportunities to participate uh, with the research. You know, um, when this uh, COVID-19 um, started, the pandemic, as they uh, have labeled it, we had people who were calling and then, I'm mad. I'm like, oh, why are you mad? You know that governor shut down the bowling alley. She <laughs> shut down the bar. And, and I can't go here. And I can't. I was like, oh, my goodness. I, you know, <laughs> so, so many for me. They were upset. I said, wow, well, what are we going to do? Then we started getting calls from people who were, I was so sad. I, I, I'm depressed. I'm having anxiety attacks. So, well, what is wrong? We, we can't get out, and uh, we're having cabin fever, and and all, all of these things are going on with the pandemic, and mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. So we talked about it, and, okay, well, what could head research you do? Mm -hmm. We decided that we would have conference calls mm -hmm. every Saturday from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m., we're on the phone. You don't have to leave your home. You don't have to leave your easy chair. You don't have to leave your backyard. You don't even have to get out of bed. <laughs> just pick up the phone. Pick it up the phone. Matter of fact, right. we just got the call in from the guest. Then. All right. Let's pick up this phone and see if this is Miss Pamela Hill. You All right. Is. You're on the line with feedback, Theo Broden. We got Brother Truett in the house from Daybo today. Everybody's here. Is this Miss pa Mrs. Pamela Hillier Owens? Yes, it is. Good morning. Good oh, okay. morning. All right. <laughs> yes, it is. I was hoping they would say no. We no. are <laughs> so glad to have you on the program today for uh, Women's History Month. It's March. And uh, we, I said we're going to have a sister on that's doing great things. And more than anything, she's been married for what now, 24 years? Yeah, it'll be 25 years in September. Wow. wow. All right. Sister is married to Brother Keith Owens, journalist. Dr. Pamela. Is it Dr. Pamela? No, no, no. I no. I got my master's degree. Didn't get my doctor's degree. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> we, we call you the doctor anyway because you're getting it done. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Pamela, here you always tell us about what you're doing and what's going on with you and Brother Keith Owens. Well, thank you so much. Uh, uh, we have a business together called Team Owens 313 LLC. And we started that company in, at, at the end of 2007. And um, so we, you know, we got it registered and everything in December of 2007. And then in J July of 2008, I decided, well, in June of 2008, I decided I never wanted to work for anybody else ever again. So I decided with that company, with that umbrella company, I started my first business called Writing It Right For You. It was a writing and editing company. I opened up, I sat in front of the computer the whole month of June, set up that, comp that business, and opened up the first week of July, got my first client that first week, and then in September, so I just kept going, and in September, I, a young man, well, let me step back. Um, I had my website that I made myself, and some people, con I mean, I got some clients, but some people contacted me and said I wasn't quite right. Now, those of us who know that um, shorthand know, know what never, not quite right means. Mm -hmm. And so I was just getting ready to take my picture off my website so that people wouldn't know what I look like when a brother from Qatar, that's the smallest Middle Eastern country, uh, who was attending school in England, contacted me. And he said, my African sister, I need you. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing I know, I, I was international. All right. And so, I was, yeah, and so uh, it was funny because he uh, was, he's from Qatar, Middle Eastern country, 
studying in England, and he needed a, na a native English speaker to help him with his papers and his dissertation and all of that. And then he, we, we, we did really, really well. And the next thing I know, I think he talked to everybody in the mob. Because the next thing I know, I had 10 people from the Middle East <laughs> as part of my clients. Wow. And, uh, that just, and that just grew from there until I had clients from 13 different countries. Indeed. indeed. And uh, then in 2012, a lot of my clients had written books, and I edited their manuscripts, but they didn't know what to do after that. So we started our second company, Detroit Inc. Publishing, in 2012, and it's an independent publishing company where I took people's manuscripts, I edit, edited them, formatted them, published them, and helped them market their books. Mm. Um, and so that went well. And then in 2014, uh, because, you know, my husband is also a musician, and so we run into a lot of creative people, people who are graphic designers, musicians, artists, mm -hmm. people like that. They were great at their art, but they didn't know how to turn their art into a business. Okay. So I started my third company, Your Business, Your Brand Creatively, Branding and Marketing for Creative Professionals. Well, you just set yeah. it up oh, for us, family nice. here. You're doing great thing. We got nice. the video you sent me. I want to run this video, and then we're going to get back and talk about everything that you got going out here. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. Mr. Smith, run that video, sir. Hi, my name is Keith Owens, and as a quick introduction, I am an award-winning journalist, musician, published author, and communications professional. I was born and raised in Denver, Colorado. Hi, and my name is Pamela Hilliard Owens, and I am an, an award-winning educator, published author, business coach, and public speaker. We met in 1987 when we were both living in Ann Arbor. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to Fort Lauderdale, Florida to work for the Sun Sentinel and Pam, Pam moved back to Detroit, her hometown. In 1993, Keith moved to Detroit to work for the Detroit Free Press, and I was working as an educator and a corporate sales leader. In 1997, we resumed our friendship, and on September 11th, 1998, we got married. And we've been partners <laughs> in marriage and business ever since. We bought a home in the historic Boston Edison District in 2003, and we're still living here. Wow. We, we, oh, first of all, we have three children and two grandchildren that keep us very busy. But here at home, since we love dogs, we presently have a nine-year-old, 12-pound shorty named Pepper. A shorty is a mix between a Shizu and a Yorkshire Terrier. That's why it's a shorty. <laughs> During and after the Detroit Free Press strike, which lasted from 1995 until 2000, I wrote articles for the Metro Times and the strike newspaper, the Detroit Sunday Journal. I also worked as a senior editor for the Michigan Chronicle twice and for the Wayne County Treasurer's Office as Director of Communications for five years, mm -hmm. from 2006 until 2011. Mm -hmm. In 2018, I became the Deputy Communications Director for the Wayne County Executive, Warren Evans. His, my current title is Executive Communications Manager. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. in 2007, we formed our umbrella company, Team Owens 313 LLC. The mm. Team Owens part is because we are a team and our last name is Owens. The 313 part is because that's the area code for Detroit. Right. In 2008, we started our first company, Writing It Right For You, a writing and editing company. Just three months later, Writing It Right For You became a global company, eventually serving clients in 13 countries. Wow. In 2012, we founded our second company, Detroit Inc. Publishing, an independent publishing company. Mm -hmm. In 2014, we started our third company, your business, your brand creatively, to work with creative professionals. In 2017, we started the second of four podcasts we've hosted, the YB2C Live podcast for entrepreneurs. By 2020, we'd recorded over 200 weekly episodes. In 2021, we formed the Global Creative Community and expanded that company to include the Branding and Marketing Academy, which provides online courses and business coaching services for independent authors and creative and solo professionals all over the world who want to start or grow their businesses using strategic methods, tasks, and activities. Except for a few special clients, I don't work with well, directly anymore as I had done since 2008. Now I offer the two six-course bundles, one for independent authors and one for creative and solo professionals, and I do one-on-one -on -one business coaching for a few clients at a time. We also publish a newsletter on the Substack platform called We Are Speaking. We publish five articles and two podcast episodes every week. Our primary topics are American history and culture, education, government, and politics, all from a black perspective. We also include a weekly post entitled Keith's Sci-Fi Musings, where I talk about various topics related to my love of science fiction. We're also both continuing to write and publish more fiction and nonfiction books. I do most of the fiction, and Pam does more of the nonfiction. And also, I'm, I'm also a musician. I've done primarily blues, but also fusion. Had a chance to perform at the Detroit Jazz Festival in 2010, the Windsor Blues Festival, and 
got a chance to do the um, the international blues competition with Luther Badman Keith. It was about five, six, well, no, about close to ten years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, the, moving on in terms of how we work together as a married couple and as business partners, mm -hmm. the most important thing is, is that we are each other's best friend. We not only love each other, but we truly like each other, which makes a big difference, and we make each other laugh because mm -hmm. we have a very similar mm -hmm. sense of humor, and we're compatible on most things, and we do pretty much everything together. Wow. We do have different tastes in TV shows and movies. We like, there's something we like in common. We didn't go one room and the other when it comes to TV. <laughs> right. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, and, and just, just to finish up, we set our goals for the business and it just as necessary as we have been doing since 2008. In the 15 years since we started, right in the middle of the Great Recession, we've added, removed, and adjusted the business mix as necessary. It's still working for us, and we plan to continue for several years to come. So with all the things we do with our personal lives, our children and grandchildren, and extended family, and our travels around the world, and then for the business, for, like I said, for the last 15 years, we stay pretty busy. So this is Keith. <laughs> and this is Pam. And thanks for watching and finding out about Team Owens 313 and the Global Creative Community Branding and Marketing Academy. Oh, that is so nice. That was a beautiful. Yeah, I love really that video. Oh, yes. Yeah, thank absolutely. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, after listening to the video, how did, what is that package that you offer? You say you offer a package for business people to learn how to run that business properly. Right, right. I, have two, I, um, I, I cater to independent authors, uh, independent self-published authors, and to creative and, and solo professionals. That means, uh, like I said, creative professionals, artists, musicians, graphic designers, and all of that, and also solo professionals such as lawyers and other business people that might have a solo practice. And so I work specifically on branding and marketing and business building. And for uh, I have two separate courses, one for the independent authors and one for the creative and solo professionals. And each course bundle has six courses. Uh, that you go that you can go through at you know on your own time. Although I am also available to answer questions, so you can invest in either the um, six courses for independent authors or the six courses uh, for um, creative and solo professionals. And then, if you would like customized one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do that. Um, yes, you sign up for that, and I have um, five slots available at a time. And then on Thursdays, I do group coaching. Thursdays at noon, I have the the uh, Thursday Live Table Talk. Now, how do they get it? How do they, how do they access all of this? Okay, all of that is available on, yeah, on the course. website, um, teamowen313gcc.com. And at the top, you can see every, everything that's available. Okay. And, and then um, also, as a matter of fact, I'm putting the, num the, uh, the Zoom number on there. You have to register by Zoom. I'm putting that on the website today and so that they can get registered by uh, Thursday. Wow. Now, is this a photo? Would you please uh, share the website once again? Yes. Team, T E A M, Team mm -hmm. Owens, O W E N S, mm -hmm. Team Owens 313GCC.com. Now, the GCC, G like in George, C like in Charlie, T like in Charlie? Yes, yes. No, uh, G and two C. G as in, in George and two C's yeah. dot com. Okay. Dot com. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, oh, okay. Now, now um, <clears throat> your program sounds wonderful. Can you, you tell us about the affordability for the small businesses? Because here in the city of Detroit, uh, for decades, we had many businesses. And of course, after uh, 1967 and coming forward, we have all these investors coming from Cleveland and wherever else they're coming from. And uh, there are fewer small businesses within the city. So just tell us about the accessibility of um, building the uh, businesses in Detroit for small well, well, African-American owners. Well, I, you know, I, my business is online primarily, although I do work with a lot of the businesses. I've had a lot of the businesses here in Detroit on my podcast. You know, we did uh, 200 episodes. And mm -hmm. so I, I, know, I know most of the small business owners here in Detroit. For this branding and marketing training, it is specifically, uh, it, is, it, is not, it is not so much for a small business that might have employees mm -hmm. um, and be a brick and mortar business, but it is for, but, although some of them are. But it's mostly for solo businesses and independent authors. Mm -hmm. So for those writers there out are, there. There are millions, 
million, not millions in Detroit, but in the United States and all over the world, there are millions of, of independent and solo businesses um, that, you know, as, as a matter of fact, when I became a business, I did it in 2008 because I never wanted to work for anyone else again. Other people start businesses either because they're, they're nearing retirement, but they still want to work, or they were laid off or downsized or just like me, tired of working for someone else. And there are many, many ways that you can have a business that sustains you. My business is, is, is way over six figures. Um, and that was, that was, that was a, a business around six figures or more, mm-hmm. um, which I can help you to build for yourself. And you can work from an office or you can work from home. Uh, that, that's plenty enough in Detroit to, to sustain a family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, Ms. Brown, I think the biggest thing, Mrs. Hill, your Owens, is when you're a writer, you got to figure out how to monetize your talent. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I think they should take your class to learn that because after exactly, you write the exactly. book, then you got to figure out who you should go with the publisher. Then you got to figure out how to market it and how to get in the bookstores. And, the, and it's a lot of work. Yeah. And that's exactly what I teach based on all of my experience of doing it with clients. As a matter of fact, for the courses for um, the, the independent writers, I say writing your book is just the first step. Mm-hmm. Getting it written, that's, that's actually, that's, you're not done. You're just getting started once you do that. Now you have to get it published and you have to get it marketed. And so we teach you how to do that and how to get, out to get it out in the community and out in the world so that people know about your book. And some people uh, write books to sell a lot of books. Other people write books as a foundation to make them an authority so that they can go on and be public speakers. When you are a public speaker or you're called on as a consultant, the first thing they ask you is, what, where's your book? Mm-hmm. And so it, it, it is important if you're going to do things like public speaking or being a consultant to other companies or other people is to have a book. Mm-hmm. And, then, uh, and then for the creative and solo professionals, um, the, I always tell them that if you build it, they will come. is not a marketing strategy. Mm-hmm. You can build, all, you can build all you want, but but just because you have it out there doesn't mean people know about it. So that's that's what I do is t- teach people how to brand and market themselves and their companies and their books if they're authors. Mm-hmm. All right, all mm-hmm. right. Okay. Now, any of the um, presentations on uh, a DVD? Oh no 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 no! These are not presentations. These are courses. They're online. They're on. And so and. Uh, yeah, they're, they're online, and you can, you can sign up for them on the website, mm-hmm. and, then, uh, and then you have access to the courses. Like I said, there's six courses in each bundle, and you can take them in order or uh, in any order that, that you like. But also because um, uh, when you, when you, be, when you uh, invest in the courses, we also invite you to my Facebook group where you can network with me and other people like you, um, mm-hmm. whether they've taken the course or not. Because it's, it's always good to be able to uh, network and get ideas and bounce ideas off of other people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. Oh, okay. And I'm telling you, Ms. Brown, they got quite a communications network out there. Mm-hmm. You say you guys got um, how many podcasts now? <laughs> well, well, right, well, right now we have two podcasts. Okay. Um, and so that's our third and fourth podcast, yes. On Wednesdays, I, po- I, I, I have a podcast that um, I do. It's only 15 minutes, and it's about branding and marketing. Uh, so that's my business podcast, and it's 15 minutes on a different topic every week. And then on Saturdays, we do the podcast. Uh, the, Keith and I do the podcast together on those topics, American history, culture, government, <clears throat> excuse me, education, and politics. From a black perspective. Now, where can they find the podcast? They can find they can, the, both podcasts are available on Apple, Spotify, Google, all the um, podcasts, all the podcasts. Um, and what what is it called? Players. Okay, uh, my my um, business podcast is called Find Out in Fifteen because it's fifteen minutes long. long. Okay. Find Out in Fifteen. Okay, Find Out in Fifteen. 15. Gotcha. Right. And then the other podcast is is We Are Speaking. Oh, that's easy. We Are, we are, we are speaking, speaking, Ms. Brown. Okay, right. We Are Speaking. And as soon okay. as we publish them every week, as soon as we publish them, they show up on Apple, Spotify, and all of the other podcast players. Okay. So now when, when a person uh, signs up for the courses, uh, mm-hmm. are the courses assigned to a certain day and time, 
No, 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 not, not at all. Because, no, no, they're, they're, they're what's called evergreen. That means they're available at all times. Because some people, it, 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 it's not so much like attending a class in college, because mm -hmm. these days people are very, very busy. Now, mm -hmm. me, I'm an early morning person. If I were taking a course, I'd be studying it at 5 o'clock in the morning because I'm just naturally an early riser. Okay. Other people need, need to go through it at lunchtime, in the evening after they put the kids to bed and everything else is done. Mm -hmm. But be, because you, you are also then part of the, the Facebook group, you can ask questions of me and the other people there. And then you can also ask questions on the Thursday uh, live uh, table talk at noon. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So Thursday table talk at noon. Is right. this mm -hmm. uh, weekly or? Every, uh, every Thursday, yes. Every mm -hmm. Thursday at noon. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Right. And um, as, soon, as a matter of fact, as soon as I get off the call, because I was working with Zoom so that um, the registration number will be the same every week. So I'm going to put that on the website, you know, by noon today. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. good. Oh, okay. And that's the key. And folks, you just need to know, Team Owens, 313GCC.com. That's correct. They go there, they'll find out everything they need to know. Uh, I just want to say for the listeners and viewers out there, we got an issue signed by Brother Keith Owens of Detroit Stories Quarterly for all you sci-fi buffs out there. <laughs> and even the ones who are writers, because I know Keith told me last time he was on this show with us that they're looking for writers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Folks, uh, okay. this if you're a sci-fi buff, go to the website, Detroit Storage Quarterly, on Facebook. They have a Facebook page as well. Mm -hmm. and, we, and, and the website, right. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. DetroitStoriesQuarterly.com. The first right. caller after we're done with, Miss Pamela, here you always going to get this copy here, that sign. This is oh, from great. 2020. <laughs> Fall is one of the originals. Mm -hmm. Get that. Or I got one of his books. He gave me one of his books. Yeah, fire and Wanda. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Folks, right. if you want us something to read, this is a nice thick one. Mm -hmm. This will hold yes, you a little yes. while. All right. So yes, Fire yes, and yes. Wanda. So you guys are publishing. Fire and Wanda is a, is a semi-autographical book, autobiographical book, yes. Okay, so you guys oh, have published quite a few oh, books, okay. huh? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Wow, all right. She knows and what she when I, when I had the independent uh, publishing company that we started in 2012, since then, I have published uh, over 350 titles for our, for us and for my clients. So oh, I know wow. what I'm doing. <laughs> Wow. Well, then if you if somebody out there a writer you need to you definitely yeah, need to definitely, get in touch right, with right. family here you always she'll okay. get your book out there. I gotta get a birthday. Okay. And, uh, oh, oh that's birthday. right, Miss Brown said I got my affirmations book here. We do this every time we have a guest. What's your birthday? And we are gonna tell you who else has some great things happen on your birthday. Are you talking to me? Yes. What's your birthday? Mm -hmm. My birthday is October 29th. The 29th, okay. Scorpio. Okay. October 29th. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Right. Okay. <laughs> right before the Halloween piece. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Let's see what we got here, Miss Broden. The 29th. I don't think we did that day before. Mm -mm. That's the first. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. And the pages want to stick together on me now. Uh oh. And I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the last page. Right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the 29th. Hey, let's see who we got. Mm hmm. Mm, interesting. Uh-oh. Okay. 1933, Thurman L. Milner, Hartford's first African-American man, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. Okay. Oh. Oh. Beatrice oh, Mormon, great. Melba Moore, oh. Tony Award winning entertainer, was born in New York City on your birthday. October 29th. All right. And oh. Alonzo G. Morin became Hampton Institute's first African-American president in 1949. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Wow. Let's see. And in 1923, Georgia Montgomery Powers, Kentucky's first African American woman state senator, was born in Springfield, Kentucky. All right, <laughs> All right. for Women's Month. All right, you got to hear about her. Yeah, <laughs> October 29th. And, and speaking of people being born um, and doing great things, you know, our our um, website for our Substack. stack publication is we are speaking dot substack dot com and we, so we public we are speaking, speaking dot substack dot com and that's s u b stack yes substack s u b 
S T A C K. Substack. Oh, Substack. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, Substack. Yeah. Yeah. And, okay. and we pub we publish an article. Uh, we publish five articles a week. And just yesterday afternoon, I, I watch um, I watch the History Channel a lot because I like that kind of thing. And uh, they had a segment on foods of America. You've heard of buffalo wings, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first person that popularized popularized buffalo wings was a black restaurateur in Buffalo, uh, New York. Wow. wow. How about that? And, wow. Yeah, and so I'm going to write an article about him next week. And, of course, what, uh, what happens to us a lot, there was an Italian couple who had a, had a restaurant a couple of, a couple of, not even a mile from this brother's restaurant, mm -hmm. John Young, and they decided to sell wings and call them buffalo wings. And, and they, they stole it. were able to capitalize on it How and try to claim that mm. they were the originators of oh, Buffalo Wings. Wow. Well, no, they weren't. Mm. No, Pamela, oh, we right up here young. at the top of the hour. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to come over the hour, then get you, close you out. Tim, take us to the break because I know when you're looking at me and you say, get us, get this to the break. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back momentarily. <laughs> this is Bruce Simpson, your city of Detroit ombudsman. I am here to address all of your complaints and concerns. If you need assistance regarding city services, please contact my office at 313-224-6000 or contact us via email at ombudsman at DetroitMI.gov. This is Bruce Simpson, your city of Detroit ombudsman. It's the These Nuts Show with your host Butter and Friends. Butter here, magician escape artist, practicing for my show tonight. Come on in, have a seat. All right, everybody, settle. Butter, you're on in five, four, three, two, one. Run a few seconds. You gotta be enough to get out of this one. Twist a little turn. Ta-da! It's showtime! It's your old friend Butter here. I may be a nut, but I know to wear my mask. Please welcome my first guest tonight, fitness guru, Wally Walmart. Our Wally Walmart here to tell you to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds so you will stay healthy and strong like me. Almond Cruz here, sliding in with the news. Distance is what we must do to stay away from the la, 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 chin and other germs in the air that might be trying to get on you. Social distancing is a wonderful way to see friends. As long as you're six feet apart, you win. Hey there, friends. I wouldn't miss this for the world. It's me, Pumpkin Spice, your healthy girl. Remember, it's important to use your kind hearts and follow the signs to stay healthy and safe at all times. Too good to be here to say, don't forget the little ones that need you to lead the way. That's how we remember to wash our hands, mask, and social distance today. Morgan Raisin. Yes, it's me. Here to sing about health and safety. We are all here to help get a message out to your grapevine. Teaching healthy choices to stay safe all the time. Don't let these guys drive you nuts. Put your mask on first, they'll let you be. And it keeps me safe la, from the la, la, chew that's trying to get on me. Butter me up, she's right, you know. Thank you, Hallie Cranberry, for joining the show. <laughs> Let's all be nuts about our health. Social distancing, wash your hands frequently, use hand sanitizer, and wear a mask. Practice what we learn to stay away from the ha ah, ha ah, ha ah, chew we're all in this together. Coming soon, the many adventures of these nuts in a theater near you. You're watching WHPS, Highland Park, Detroit. WGPR Detroit HD2. Feedback. Feedback. Hi, this is Theo Broughton. And I am the BDM Pina. Inviting you to join us each Monday at 9 a.m. for Feedback. A positive image production by Hood Research. 
Encourage others to tune in each Monday on Comcast Detroit, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, watch WHPR TV Network anywhere. And take us along with you. Feedback, feedback, feedback. <laughs> and always like that and take us along with you. And we see you calling. We're going to get to you. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, shut it down for us, Ms. Bro. Now, Ms. Hill, you give us the information uh, to close us out. Okay. Each, um, the course bundles, the, the, each course bundle, there are two bundles. Each bundle has six courses, and the course bundle is $150, which breaks down to only $25 per course. So it's $150 for the independent authors and $150 for the creative and solo professional. Mm -hmm. And everything that, everything that we've talked about, including the address for the substack, is on the website team owen 313 gcc.com and that makes it affordable for our yes. young uh, budding entrepreneurs they really exactly, thank you for exactly. that mm -hmm. well thank you for checking in with us women history month we just glad to have you on somebody want one of these books and uh, <laughs> folks get in touch with Pamela Hill, your Owens, and the Team Owens crew. All right. You have a good Thank one, Miss Lord. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. And we'll be looking forward to you on Saturday as well. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye now. Bye-bye. Yes, that indeed. Really I think somebody either calling in and check in with Brother Truett or get this book. Let's, Let's see what we see. got here. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You on the air feedback. We got Brother True from Daybo, Theo Bro, Mark Cummings. Talk to us. Hello, this is Tawana. Hi, uh, Tawana. How are thanks you? for calling. We're wonderful. Oh, great. Yes, I'm calling for the book. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Now, which all one right. do you want here? You want the Fire and Wanda or you want a copy of the Detroit Stories Quarterly? Detroit Story Quarterly. You got it. We got okay. the call. She wanted the I, book. I'm enjoying the show. And I'm proud of all the women that mm -hmm. do good work. Mm -hmm. And I promote yeah. women for this month. Absolutely. And, and, and Theo Broden, I, pro uh -oh. I promote you all the time. Oh, <laughs> shucks. <laughs> you are wisdom in and of itself. <laughs> Thank you for all you do. Now, do you Thank also you. have a question for Brother True from Debo? You know, got to get that health right. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I have to get to your new your new uh, location. Uh, give me some information about what's going on and uh, update. Uh, I know y'all do great work, and uh, we uh, Theo and I was with Reverend Sheffield uh, about a, a week and a half ago. It was very interesting. He updated us. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to know from you what's going on at Debo. Well, well, to name a few things, every Monday and Wednesday, the senior citizens have a, uh, they work out with Fast Freddy. The exercise class. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Every, every Monday and Wednesday. All right. And he, he, he be having them, he be having them going over there. And so the time? The time is uh, Monday and Wednesday, 9, I mean, I'm sorry, 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Okay, 11 a.m. Monday and Wednesday. That that would be today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Monday and Wednesday. That's that's a good fun fun class, and um, other programs include uh, uh, Wayne County tax help. If you having trouble paying your taxes, they got a program for. We have a program for that. We uh -huh. have a program if you having trouble paying your utilities. Okay. Okay. And those those type of bills. Uh -huh. And um, uh, they will also have uh, they have a, a food giveaway every fourth Saturday uh, at ten o'clock, ten o'clock to about twelve. Mm -hmm. And um, what else can I think? Oh, they have uh, Debo Wayne uh, Grand River Wyoming is also a, a tech hub. So if you um, uh, want to get online to pay your bills or to do your classwork, you can use their Wi-Fi there. And they also mm -hmm. have just started recently um, classes for seniors to help them navigate the Internet and to get started uh, mm -hmm. in learning about uh, being on the computer. Oh, okay. So, Introduction to a computer. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. So that's that's been going well, you know, mostly uh what what days for that that 
uh, for the computer classes. Uh, that's Monday through Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm, okay. It started at 10 o'clock. Okay, 10 a.m., four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 10 a.m., uh, being one introduced more, to the computer. Mm-hmm. I know in the past that uh, uh, Sheffield has had, uh, were hiring uh, young people for summer jobs. Every year, Sheffield gets summer jobs for mm-hmm. youths. Mm-hmm. You can call there and talk to Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jennifer uh, runs all the programming Mm -hmm. at Debo, and she'll be able to help you. Um, Sheffield uh, speaks of, um, he said that he, the people that he, he he sent some people for the DTE program. They had a summer Mm -hmm. program, and Mm -hmm. some of the kids didn't, didn't show, and, Mm -hmm. you know, so, yeah, it is, but every year, every year, it's summer jobs that's mm-hmm. offered through through Daybo. Mm-hmm. So you, you can call Jennifer. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's so the they number need they need to call? They need to call 313-491-0003. Mm-hmm. Okay, again. Four, that's 313-491-0003. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's All at right. 12048 Grand River, corner of Wyoming and Grand River. Okay. Are they still accepting small business associations to come into their group? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You can call and and talk to Jennifer about that. She'll she'll get the application and 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 that done. But you can you don't you don't ha- really have to be a business. You can call there and just get on the mailing list and for all the programs that's coming out. Mm. Uh, they'll just they'll just uh, automatically send you. Information. Uh, information, mm-hmm. yes. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Okay, you've been very informational. Thank you so much, and thank you for all what you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and let thank everybody you. know they can get that health screening down there. Yeah. Right. Down there very get that health screening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, thank you for calling in. Okay, I'll hang up anything and listen. Else? All right. <laughs> if you have okay. anything else, you can Bye-bye. call back before we're off. That's great. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes, indeed. For what well, Sister Tawanda got that one book. So we got one left here, Fire and Wanda. <laughs> Call on in and get this. Take this <laughs> off our hands. See, brother, keep on getting it done. And what yeah. thing I like about this uh, one here, it's got different authors. Mm. You got uh, R. E. McTyre Sr., Cornelius Fortune. Mm-hmm. Abel Ramirez, John Telford, and Brother Keith Owens. So it's five stories in this one that oh, wow. Miss Tawana just w- took off our hands. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, in, know, so. and in the meantime, we we want to have our guest birthday. Oh, oh yes, we Don't want to forget that. Yeah. Yes, indeed, Brother yeah, Truitt. Birthday. What is your birthday, sir? My birthday is August the 20th. All right. Oh, Eight August the zero. 20th. In the summertime. Yeah, yeah. Tr- a- Aaron Truitt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, indeed. That's Have a good a grand- thing. So, so one person he he's uh oh well, my I have a granddaughter whose birthday is August twentieth too. So is that right? <laughs> <Mm-mm-mm>. yes, <indeed. laughs> I'm telling you, it's just, I love this book here, folks. Affirmation. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, somebody had called us a few weeks ago. I got a copy for you, and the gentleman didn't get back to me. Mm. I'm telling you, don't mm-hmm. miss out That's on right. good thing. We give you stuff down here, feedback. You get yeah. goodies just for right. viewing and listening. Okay, August 20th. Yes, indeed. Miss Bro said, hurry up and get to August 20th. No, I don't know what. <laughs> oh, my yeah. goodness, they got Charles R. Drew. Now, he wasn't born on this day, but they got him listed for this day. And, uh, you know, Charles Richard Drew, surgeon and scientist. Another great mm, guy. Um, that's went right. Went to Amherst College. Did you know he was a head football coach at Morgan State? No. Oh, How about that? Wow, <laughs> didn't know that. I tell you, I mean, we just so incredibly talented. Mm -hmm. I mean, my goodness. Now, on this day, let's see who we got here. Oh, my goodness. Isaac Hayes, brother. (laughs) (laughs) All (laughs) right. Was born in Covington, Tennessee in 1942 on your birthday. Is that right? Mm. How about that? Now, I I liked him for a reason. Yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. I'm sure you remember Brother Quinn Buckner used to play for Indiana. He was a head coach of the Dallas Mavericks. 
Mm -hmm. He was born in Phoenix, Illinois. How mm -hmm. about that? And William Gray, mm -hmm. president of the United Negro College Fund, was born in 1941 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Now, here's one for you. Mm -hmm. This is 1619. On this day, mm -mm. the English American was the name of the Dutch ship that landed here in Jamestown, Virginia, with 20 Negroes. Mm. As we know, yeah, that was August 20th. 16, yeah, that was August the 20th. 1619. You August know, they got 20th. the 1619 Project, and that's pretty much when they say slavery began here in the States, mm -hmm. even though some people go further back than that. So we going <laughs> to stick with this 1619. 19, 820 is a significant day, folks. I'll be. Wow. I never knew that. And 20. Africans were on the ship. Were on ship. the ship. The first, the yeah. first slave. And what was the name it of the ship? It was called the English America. It was a yeah. Dutch ship. So mm -hmm. there we go, folks. Landed in Jamestown, Virginia. We all know that's where they used to trade the slaves in the beginning, all of this. Mm -hmm. But uh, we done fought our way a long way from that. Quite a resilient <sighs> people. Yeah, absolutely. Quite a yeah, resilient absolutely. people. And then just the idea of all of the things that were stolen from them and, and patented. Now they even find our buffalo wings were stolen right. too. <laughs> oh, we got another caller. They calling it's in now. Crazy. They crazy. loving it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. You all with Brother True from Daybo, Theo Bronhood Research. Mark Cummings, talk to us. Yes, and good morning to you all. Good morning. Happy Monday. Monday. And thanks so much for the information that you all share every week. It's most valuable to our community. Well, thank you for tuning in each week. We appreciate hey, that. You're more than welcome. Who are we speaking with right now? This is Katrina. Hey, Katrina, how you doing? <laughs> now, are you calling in to get this book by Keith Owens? I'm calling in to get the book, but I'm also calling in because someone called me and said they was unable to um, pull up the uh, your broadcast mm -hmm. online. So I informed them, and I want to make sure it's correct, Mm -hmm. to download 88.1 FM. No, no, what you want to download is www.tv33whpr.com. Now, the radio is separate from this. We're the TV show, so we on the air, and everybody get to see our beautiful faces, and we wave at everybody <laughs> there. Hey, we all... And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. and then the show will run again on YouTube in perpetuity. So mm -hmm. you can always go to the YouTube site, find the video, pull it down, send it to your friends, share with everybody you know, so we can get the word out. Yeah. The word is always out there for them, Ms. Bro. Right, but give, give the uh, website they can log on to again. Yes, indeed. The website, once again, is www.tv33whpr.com. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So, Katrina, take this number down. It's my number. Okay. 313-510-1250. And uh, call me right after the show. I'm going to leave the book down here at the station for you, or if you like, I can get it to you some other kind of way. Just bring it to you if you want. But, just uh, give it to Phil. And I'll pick it up from her. Oh, just leave it with Miss Theo. We'll do. We're going to leave it to Miss Theo, and she's going to get it to you. So, <laughs> Katrina, right on time. We love it. And uh, Brother Keith Owen, they got all the books up out of here. <laughs> Indeed. So, do you have any questions for Brother Truer from Daybo? No, but I was glad to hear about the computer class mm -hmm. that's offered there, as well as the exercising and dance classes. And there's right. some other, other activities that uh, Daybo. Uh, enrich our community with, and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful thing. Absolutely. We love that you're checking in, and people are listening all over the country and mm -hmm. uh, all over the world, actually. That's right. And there's one. Okay, no, one other question. Mm -hmm. For a person that does not have uh, television, mm -hmm. do you also broadcast over the radio or? apps on Monday morning. No, this isn't this is on the radio. This is a TV program. This is but, an um, point one. But no. There was one other uh, uh, TV 33 on demand. Right. You uh, how, how do you get that, Tim? You just they go to the app that? store and, and pull it down. Right. Um, you can WDAB. get that on your phone. Yeah, exactly. On your, 
You can get that uh, uh, by using your uh, Android or iPhone. Yes. And you uh, put in TV 33. On demand. On demand. Okay. I'll pass that on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything is going to the technical thing these days. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. I know oh, I tell you. But the, and the last thing that I, that I want to share with you is that Hood Research is on a conference call each Saturday from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. And one only need to have a telephone. It can be a landline, Android iPhone. Is there any other one out there? <laughs> Those <laughs> and, are the mainly the two. <laughs> right, right. I, I think 99% of the people have one of those. Right. And you dial a 1978 990 Again, that's 1978-990-5000. Five zero zero zero. It will ring one time, and it answers and asks you to put in the access code. It thanks you for do, calling in everything, and then you put in three three eight seven two nine and press the pound key. Some people call it a hashtag. Some people call it a tic tac toe sign. But anyway, <laughs> press it. Again, the access code is 338-729-POUND. And you'll hear us talking. Sometimes you might hear a little music in the background, but each Saturday from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m., we have uh, guests on uh, like we do on the TV show, and uh, we talk about the various issues. We encourage those who call in to share information that they gather mm -hmm. And uh, we even had, let me tell you, when Joe Biden was sworn in, I, I said, now, we got to come early because it's being sworn in at noon. So you come to the same phone number, same access code. I said, but this day at noon, you have to bring your glass of milk, your cup of coffee, <laughs> your, your Coca-Cola, uh, your wine or your Jack Daniels. Anyway, we're going to make a toast to the president who's being sworn in. So we, we did that on that day. And uh, once the president, you know, was sworn in everything, I said, now it's your turn. So those who wanted to make a toast to the president being inaugurated and being sworn in, they could. And the reason for it was because nationally, it had been reported that the president was elected because of the black community. It was acknowledged by everybody around the country. And I think that's why so many crazy folks who are Republicans are putting in new legislation to uh, put us back into the dark ages. Yeah, it's a battle mm -hmm. out here. Yeah, but we have to stay engaged, have to be committed to know that it's working together that we can make changes, and there's power in our hands. It, it really ain't yeah. that deep. We just you know, look out with one another and be uh, you know, true to our word. Mm -hmm. So if you say you're going to come down to the Daybo Center and you want to get your kid in the summer program, make sure they get down there and fill out that paperwork. Right. right. And, you know, yeah. this bro, and everybody, all the ladies who going to be on this month, this is from Sister Crystal Gunn. We had her on the financial strategies. Mm -hmm. Sister doing great things. She has said, look, I want to be a part of this month for you guys. So she has donated. I am amazing. <laughs> the black woman. These beautiful T-shirts. This one is Miss Broughton's. Uh-oh. So uh, she gets this one here. Uh-oh. I own my amazing. <laughs> it's a beautiful shirt. Uh -huh. And uh, we're going to get one of the... Uh, Miss Pamela Hilliard Owens for being on. Mm -hmm, this I know morning. We, we got some real heavy hitters coming on in a couple of weeks. Uh, Dr. L. Rita Dyes will be on. She's written about five or six books. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're probably going to get Orena Perry on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so it should be fun in a couple of weeks. More ladies, mm -hmm, yeah. more Women's History Month. And <laughs> beautiful thing. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And we have as our guest uh, this morning, Aaron Truitt, who has been talking about the medical needs and the program 
that is being offered at the Davo Center located on Wyoming and Grand River. And, of course, our women need to understand that they need to make sure that they have their concerns addressed and the testing done for themselves. And all of this in this particular program happens to be free and accessible for the women within our community as well. Get down mm-hmm. to the Day Bowl Center. Mm-hmm. That's from Brother Truett. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll get yeah. you the Blueprint for Wellness program. For I Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Blueprint for Wellness. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. The Blueprint for Wellness. Yeah. Like you said, that main thing is making sure that cholesterol is checked. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, mm-hmm. all of that stuff that got something to do with your body. All of them important, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah they all important. He says 49 different tests. They just want to take that blood, and from there they can pretty mm-hmm. much ascertain everything they need to know, Brother Truett. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's for your information. I mean, if you get an uh, up-to-date of your health today, on this day, mm-hmm. you got something to work with to try to improve, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. you got to try to improve, you know, Down as you move line, forward. Right, <laughs> right, right, yeah. right, absolutely. Yeah, and the... Uh, uh, Body index, ma- wait a minute. Body mass index. BMI, BMI, body mass yeah. index, right, uh, to understand that. And somewhere I read that uh, you take the measurement of your waist and you take the measurement of the uh, hip area, mm-hmm. and it should be no less than eight inches difference. Oh, is that what they said? When it, mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, so you need to... Yeah. Be concerned about your your uh, food intake at that time. <laughs> <laughs> they call him back in. They trying to get him. We got seven minutes. Let's see what this caller has got to say here. Okay. You all feedback, Theo Bro, and Andre True, and Mark, come talk to us. Yes, Mark. This is Tawana again. Mm-hmm. I I pay my bill, my DTE bill, every month faithfully, and this month. I got something's in actual reading, and my bill is five hundred and sixty-five dollars for one for in one billing cycle. What? And it was just perplexed to me. I've never missed a payment, and they broke it down that I owe for uh, February and March. The the now how. They they did it. I don't understand it. Mm-hmm. I got. Uh, can Debo help me with that? Help me understand the reading. And if I'm paying every month, mm-hmm. how come I owe five hundred and sixty five dollars? All right, right. In one month. It is your your meter outside? Yeah, Outs- they 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 said this was an actual reading. Right, and when it's outside, they're supposed to be able to read it from the office downtown or wherever they're located these days. Uh, Aaron. Yeah, um, to to that I can say, you know, if you, you got issues with DTE, um, we don't really deal with the issues or why you why you why your bill is high, but but after your bill get high, we we got assistance to help you um, to help you. So in your case, you may be able to call you you may be Jennifer may be able to help you even in your case. I, that's Number. The, that's the phone number is four nine one zero 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 three. I have to give you Jennifer because I don't I don't work in those programs, but I, those programs are at Dave and, and Jennifer heads heads programming there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay. call three one three four nine one zero 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 three, and uh, she is there today, right? Okay. No, she is not, not there, there today. today. She's down with COVID right now. Oh, so okay. I'm, I forgot so to mention that. Leaving. So okay. probably next week because okay. she just went down last week. So. Would you leave a message for her? Absolutely. Oh, okay. okay. Everybody getting crazy bills from DT. I'm going to tell you, mm-hmm. that when the state allowed them to raise them rates, it's just, what can you do? Yeah. And they're going to get worse with all of these. They didn't have all these blackouts, and they got to mm-hmm. pay the, all these people the, the right. overtime. So... They say they reading your thing, but you know they just average it whatever they want to have. I, I, I'm getting confused and I'm getting a little nervous, and I'm sure there are other people out there like me. Yeah, it is. And, and I'd like to find out if anybody got a high bill, five hundred yeah. dollars. I got one. So I didn't get one that high, but it was close. Okay, five five hundred and what? 
65. Five, six, Play it five. in the lottery. That be th- <laughs> 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 I think I will, and I don't play that. <laughs> I'm hanging up and listening. So if that's that's for, I'm going to be for March, and March isn't even over yet. Uh, and that's what it says. Wow. I you call, down, call down, call yeah. down there and speak with them to find out what's going on. We right, got four right. minutes, Miss Brown. Uh oh. Right, wow. Right. But for two months, that's two hundred and thirty-two dollars fifty cents. Okay. I'm sorry. I said what? How many minutes? Four minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to thank everyone for calling in this morning and uh, Aaron Truitt, our, our guest, and um, uh, the uh, Blueprint for Wellness. That is a wonderful uh, name for a program. I like that. Blueprint for Wellness. Available to you through Dable, uh, Detroit Association of Black Organizations. For those who didn't know what a DABO represented, and they are located on the corner of Wyoming and Grand River, 12048 Grand River. And I uh, have really been appreciative that we've had this time to talk to Aaron Truitt about the programs at Dabo and, and also to uh, our other uh, guest, uh, Ms. Owens, and to uh, uh, let everyone know that each Monday that we come on, we are glad to share as much information as we can. And uh, Hood Research says that it's not necessary for you to know everything. What is necessary is for you to know how to find what you need when you need it. We at Hood Research seek out as much information as we can and encourage you to do the same to share with us because it helps us all make better informed decisions. The telephone number for Hood Research is area code 248-234-2371. Again, area code 248-234-2371. We have Facebook. We have a website. We have Twitter, and we encourage you to follow us on Twitter. And the um, website is hoodresearch.org, O-R-G. The email, which we have also, is contact at hoodresearch.org, contact at hoodresearch.org. We have been uh, pleased to have all our guests this morning, and thank you so much for staying tuned in, and congratulations mm-hmm. to those who won the gifts this morning. Yes, Mark, yes, indeed. our closing remarks. Just want to thank Brother Aaron Truitt again. I mean, this type of information is invaluable. <laughs> like, you got to get it, and then you got to move on it. And uh, I just I just love this show. Feedback is the best. We, <laughs> we have a lot of fun down here, a lot of great guests. We do. And uh, it's a beautiful day. We connected with a lot of organizations. They will just happen to be one of them. All we? right. <laughs> and we look, at for, look forward to you all tuning in on Saturdays with us as well. Until then, next Monday, thank you so much for tuning in, and peace. Feedback. Feedback. Hi, this is Theo Groton. And I am the BDM Pina. Inviting you to join us each Monday at 9 a.m. for Feedback. A positive image production by Hood Research. Encourage others to tune in each Monday on Comcast Detroit, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Watch WHPR TV Network, anywhere. And take us along with you. Feedback. Feedback. Feedback.